this is literally the secret to everything is simply just wondering more. So when we wonder more, when we're asking, so what is wondering? Wondering is what happens if, what happens if I do this? If I go down this route, if I have this kind of life experience, if I date this person, if I marry this person, if I have babies, if I don't have babies, if I adopt this puppy, if I start a horse farm, if I move to the countryside, if I move to the city, if I buy an electric vehicle, if I, you know, move down to Costa Rica and start a self-sustaining farm. What if, what if, what if? And there's like, there's some opinions about, some opinions about what if thinking, and it can definitely drive you crazy if you're not intentional about it, right? You want to be intentional about everything that you do, every thought that you have, you want to have awareness around and say, is this something that I want to be thinking? Is this something that is supporting my future? And what I was finding through awareness the other day was the art of wondering is so powerful because like I was mentioning yesterday is like when we think about something that, or when we experience even just like not even intentionally thinking about it, but when we experience something that we don't like, or we see something we don't like, we see a color, a shirt, we meet a person, we go to a place and we don't like it. On the other end of noticing that you don't like something, that it's not in resonance with you, with your truth, with what's in alignment with what you want to experience here on earth, when it's just purely not in resonance with you, that creates what you do want because you know what you don't want. And so by wondering, we're able to go down the path of experiencing if we do like something or if we don't like something, if it is meant for us or if it's not meant for us. And so in quantum manifestation, we want to think about the chosen timeline of where it's not just one thing because it's a timeline, but where specifically you're, you're experiencing one thing that kind of solves everything else that you want or that you desire, not solves, but allows there to be resonance for. And so for, for example, like maybe starting a YouTube channel, when the YouTube channel grows, it allows you the life that you desire. That's what I found when I was in Switzerland a few months ago in the beginning of the year, I was like, what I see in my chosen timeline is having this platform on YouTube where I get to share these thoughts, share these experiences, build this community with you guys and then eventually have the life that I desire, which involves, you know, having retreats around the world, offering different services and um, products that support a conscious way of living, that support this new earth consciousness on earth, that support simple living, free living, awake living, not, not woke living, but awake living, like where we are awake to our potential, to our truth to how powerful we are, how capable we are. You can literally bend forks and spoons with your mind if you remove the subconscious programming that tells you you can't. And I use that example because I did experience that at a retreat. Uh, it was in Sedona or no, it was off Captiva Island or on Captiva Island in Florida. And that allowed me to experience going to that place of moving past the subconscious blocks because at first when I was trying to bend the fork and spoon with my mind I was like bend 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 everyone else in this room is bending it and is celebrating they're like Woohoo, it's great it's twisting it's turning it's all these things and I'm like motherfucker bend but then I was like this isn't the way I was like okay if it bends great if it doesn't bend my life goes on that's step one we let go we let go of attachment and then we are able to like see all the, the blocks, the attachment, well, we move past the attachment, but the blocks, the beliefs that it's not working for us, that it's working for other people, but not for us. And then I was like, okay, like go deeper. And what really was the solution, I guess, to me trying to have this experience of bending the fork and spoon was becoming this, that it was a fork, becoming the fork. I felt into the place where we are literally the same thing 
at the root of it all, we're all one infinite consciousness. And I felt that place with this fork. And then it started easily moving. Like I was just barely touching it and it was twisting the, the top parts, like the these things in the fork were like all twisting around each other, like multiple, multiple times. I was twisting the top of it. Like it was, it was like liquid. It was like mercury that comes out of an old thermometer if you've ever had the, seen that. And I was like, wow, not as liquid as that, but it was very, very fluid. When before I was applying so much force, I was like, it won't move. And so that experience of moving past attachment and moving past blocks and moving past all these subconscious beliefs that were holding me back and then just becoming one with the thing that I wanted, that I desired, the outcome that I desired, the timeline that I desired, just knowing that I already was it, allowed me to have that experience in this perceived reality, allowed it to just move within this, within my, the, the material within my hand, with the, the matter within my hand. And I was like, wow, wow, wow. And so when we go to this place of wondering, right? We're talking about quantum manifestation. And so you go to this chosen timeline. You want to, if you kind of come up with an idea of what it is that would give you all the things that you want, right? It, like it gives you the money. You don't want to want the money. You want to want the thing that puts you in the timeline where you're having abundance flow to you, where you're living in the place that you want. You're around people that you love. You get to do the things that you want to do. You get to live the purpose that you want to live. You get to eat the food that you want to live, eat, work out the way that you want to work out, take the amount of time off that you want to take off and travel the amount that you want to travel. And so what like one thing gives you that? And when you can answer that, then that's how you start creating your chosen timeline. And then you want to go so far to wonder, wonder if you have that timeline and when you're wondering how does it feel does it feel like oh this is great or does it feel like if it you know didn't happen that you're going to be a little relieved and then you have to lean into that relief and be like is this actual relief or is this like my subconscious fear of my own potential but a lot of the times i feel that when we're really in that awareness and we're really committed to being in that process of knowing how to navigate this, then you start to become really familiar of like, no, this was actually meant for somebody else. And this comes from the book, Reality Transurfing. It talks about this process of like, is it for you or is it for someone else? Because there is something that's designed for you. But so often based on like the people that we're surrounding ourselves with, the society that we live in, the media that we're exposed to, we think that we want things that we don't actually want. And how do we figure out what we actually want? You have to wonder, you have to daydream, you have to visualize, you have to put yourself in those situations and say, how do I feel here? You can time travel with your mind. You know, you can imagine so much. You can go to Greece right now. You can go to Mars right now. You can go to all these places if you imagine it. I know some people, like my mom, she doesn't have the ability to see. She has the ability to channel energy and heal, and she's an energy healer. And so everyone has different ways of, you know, not everyone can visualize. I know that. But there's, you know, other ways of doing it. You can feel what it feels like. Imagine yourself feeling the warmth of the sun. Imagine yourself tasting the taste of that lemon cake, right? You can taste it. You can feel it. You start salivating. You start feeling the warmth. You can visualize this happening. You know, there's been that study of people that uh, visualize themselves practicing free throws and then another half of the group was actually practicing free throws, you know, within the perceived reality. And they ended up having like this almost the same uh, results when it came time to testing within the perceived reality of who was, you know, getting better and better. And so visualizing is so, so powerful. We know this, but sometimes we need to be reminded it. And so when you go into this place of wondering, you get to experience, is it for me? Is it not for me? And just simply by experiencing, is it for you? And is it not for you? You're creating, you're creating what is for you. And so if you think about all the things that you've created by all the things that you've experienced within your life, there's probably quite a few things that you've experienced that you don't want that are undesired. And so you're already in that place of having everything that you want. Everything that you want already exists somewhere within the quantum field. If the quantum field has infinite potential realities, then everything that you want is already created. And so you get to just move there with ease by following your joy and following your curiosity and letting go of attachment and letting go of your subconscious blocks and limiting beliefs and knowing that you're, you are one with the potential of infinite realities.
And so you're one with all of that. You're one with every single reality within the infinite. And so you have the option to go to the reality that you truly desire when you let go of everything else and you just follow the joy, just follow the curiosity and you flow there and you don't give in to anything that feels like lack, like limiting beliefs, like fear, like worry, like um, unworthiness and all these things that are not infinite abundance, unconditional love and your highest potential, right? And so the point of this though is to wonder because you can create, but also to wonder so that you can get familiar on what is your chosen timeline. Because there is a lot of benefit to visualizing your chosen timeline. And even if you're not visualizing your to chosen timeline in exact accordance with what your chosen timeline is, just going there is gonna heal your nervous system, it's going to help you rewire your mind, and it's gonna get you closer. But like I include in my 21 day program for rewiring your mind, we visualize that every single day, but we also want to use our free will and choose this timeline or one that is in more alignment with my highest potential of love, happiness, abundance, health. And so by going there and choosing this or whatever is better or allowing it to be better and better and better, you're opening the door for it to be even more incredible than you could have ever imagined, right? And so, um, like when I look at the, my life that I have right now in Italy, I'm like, I could not have painted this. I, I really could not have imagined it. Like I maybe could have, but I, I didn't even know that this is what I wanted, that this is where I wanted to be. But it's incredible to be on a farm where we have van life people, where we have, you know, animals and animal sanctuary. Uh, it's an animal sanctuary, so we have rescue animals. We have community. We're in the Italian countryside. Like, it's perfect. It's so perfect to me. We're close to my family around Europe. And it's, it's a really incredible situation where it's even better than I could have ever imagined. And so in the beginning of the year, when I really started getting clear and doing this wondering, I started, you know, opening the thoughts of like, well, what I was actually doing this where I hadn't done this like ever. I mean, I knew as a kid, I wanted to be around animals and horses, but I hadn't really been visualizing this. Not when I was in California. In California, I was visualizing my dream house and, you know, ocean view and everything. Uh, but when I was in Switzerland, I made a dream board and I put a lot of horses on it and I put uh, a van on it and everything. And so I was visualizing and wondering about what it would be like to have horses in the countryside. I thought of France. And so I was visualizing it. I was feeling into it. I was kind of like, mm, like, is it France? <laughs> but I was seeing the horses. I was like, this feels good. Like feeding the horses, uh, waking up early, being around them, being around the animals. And I was like, huh, well, I choose this, this if it's meant for me, if it's for my highest good. And I look up. And then a few months later, I ended up on a horse farm in Italy and divine timing kept me there. Divine intervention kept me there. And so allow yourself to wonder, what if this reality, because there's so many of you who might relate with this, where it's like you want to live on in the countryside. You want to live in a big, beautiful mansion overlooking the water. You want to have, you know, this international life, live in Bali, yoga, teach, be a yoga teacher, do ayahuasca and then, you know, South America. Like you want to live all these different lives, right? But it's like, how do I fit, how do I fit all that into this lifetime? How do I fit all these versions of me into this lifetime? Well, you can, but if you're, you know, not that you have to choose, but if you're wondering where to start, you can wonder <laughs> and lean into it and then allow yourself to choose whatever is for your highest good. And you'll, you'll start to get more and more familiar. So through wondering, you create more and more of what you do want by being honest with yourself. And that's really what it takes is being honest with yourself. And also you get more familiar on what your chosen timeline is. And so like, I didn't know where it was that I wanted to live. I didn't know what exactly it was that I wanted to, you know, be doing um, with horses and whatnot. But I knew that YouTube was something that I've always wanted because I kept getting that hit like 10 years ago when I found a lot of healing for myself and my own journey and my spiritual journey, my health journey through YouTube. And I had that strong impulse. I was like, YouTube. And for the past 10 years, I've been trying to do everything but YouTube. I was trying to do all these other businesses and then told myself when I make enough money from my other businesses, then I will invest my time into doing YouTube. 
the other businesses will support me so that I can make YouTube videos. And then this year I was like, why not just go for YouTube? Because that's what my sole calling is. And then, you know, we've grown relatively quick on here, which is amazing. And my programs and my coaching, it's like all very soul aligned. And so this is the place that I love to be because it is part of my chosen timeline is being on this platform with you guys and growing and sharing bits of this journey, bits of the things that I learned, opening th the doors one day to the retreats. Like it's so incredible. And also doing the fundraising and stuff and helping with animal welfare with you guys. It's incredible that this is all coming into reality. And it's because I wondered, is this for me? And that created it. And then I chose, I choose this if it's for my highest good. And then I landed there <laughs> like a few months later. So I hope that this helped you and found you at the right time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Leave a comment if you feel called to do so. If you don't know what to say, you can say hello to Finn. Finn, 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 come here. I want you guys to see Finn. Finn, <gasps> that's Arlo. Finn, come. <gasps> Hi, boo-boos. <laughs> So I am at my friend's house right now. They're at the store. Uh, this is my last night here in this part of California. And then I will go see some family tomorrow. And then I'm off to see my dad. And then in a few days after that, I'm back to Italy and we will be back on the farm. So if you guys want to sign up for my, one of my programs, I have the 21 days to rewire your mind, which is a lot of what we were talking about today. It's all about getting familiar with your chosen timeline, choosing it, stepping into it, which is also going to heal your nervous system, rewire your mind and, uh, and really support you on this journey of getting what you want and remembering your truth and remembering your potential. And then 21 days to uh, know your divine guidance is all about going into your heart space, getting clear on that communication with your divine team, your higher, your higher self, your intuition, your angels and your guides, learning the language of your angels and guides and how you best communicate with them. And then you can work one-on-one -on -one with me when I'm back on the farm, which is in October. So you can book with me then. So with all that being said, I will see you tomorrow.